Okay, hi there everybody. Time to comment on your comments. I actually finished last time with Happy New, New Time to Euro Europe from VG and um, I wanted to highlight Static's comment. I don't like DST. Me neither. It's bad for one's health but to lose an hour of sleep and it's hard adjusting to the new time. Imagine, I need to know um, different times all over the world because I have people all over the world and it's really difficult. Um, I don't know, for example, uh, Australia goes in the opposite direction next week. Uh, Saudi Arabia doesn't change. Brazil doesn't change. Um, but it, it causes absolute mayhem for me. Okay, so I don't like DST either. Definitely. I'm even going to comment. I hate it. <laughs> Thank you, Static. Okay, so Count. Great to see you, Count. I guess atrophy is applicable to any process or activity. Long absence, soon forgotten, or out of sight, out of mind. Good English, Count. He used to skateboard very well, but then he stopped practicing it, and his skateboarding skills are trophied over time. Okay, you can use practicing. I think maybe doing is probably what you mean, because practicing talks about making perfect. It's a common uh, Spanish mistake, and I guess in Portuguese the same thing. Uh, lack of practice may lead to atrophy of your skateboarding skills. Yeah, fine. And, ha. Huh. Okay, not doing any exercise can cause muscular atrophy. Yes, and good English. And static says being in space for a long time without exercising will cause bone and muscle atrophy. So it's extremely important. They do weight bearing exercises every day in space and right after they land back on Earth. And VG says, wow, I didn't know that. And you're welcome. So thank you both of you. And count. I reckon stories about quandam events, even if they are cogent, may be calling if you tell them in a prosaic manner. Well done, you got the right word and you used f four great words in one sentence in correct English. Well done, count. Motor neuron diseases are one of the main causes of atrophy in one's muscles. Huh. Ultimately, the late Stephen Hawking atrophied due to ALS. May he rest in peace. Believe it or not, he was one of the professors of physics when I was at university. <laughs> so, Douglas Russ says, Bravo! And Khalid. The British looked, looted Indians on the pretext of educating them. This is the testimony of their perfidiousness and I give you my personal apology for what the British did in uh, India and in many other colonies Khalid it's unacceptable and VG not practicing your the words you've learned can definitely atrophy your English skills good English and the atrophy of his French is due to the fact that he stopped studying it a long time ago Okay, and Navanitha. It took him a month to come along from his leg atrophy. Come along. I think get over from would be better. To get over his leg atrophy would sound better. To come along. I'm not so happy with come along. Hi, Qualenta. Great to see you. And Sheed. It'd be fantastic if every nation, if all nations, agreed to both atrophy their military forces and to follow a peaceful world organization, which would be based on fair trades. You could say fair trades, although more normal fair trade, and on the well-being of humanity too. I wish as well, Sheed. That would make so much difference. Mohammed, when you're out of practice for a good while concerning languages, you're gonna you're going to receive, not be receiving, you're gonna you're going to become atrophied, making your ability to talk less profound. Definitely Mohammed. And static. By the way, I caught a typo in my astronomical theme paragraph. I said finally. <laughs> 
thought instead of finally. Well, I'm full of typos as well, static, so don't worry. My pleasure, VG. Oh yeah, I also wanted to say, I've come to the conclusion that at the end of this month, which is going to be Thursday, I think I'm going to stop making these comments videos because they're taking me 45 minutes to an hour in the morning and 45 minutes to an hour in the evening and they're only getting like a hundred views each. Maybe I'm going to try something else by uh, making uh, more live stream sessions and making live stream sessions open to questions and using the best of the questions from um, the comments. So I'm sorry about that but well Juno precipitate can be used in this way to precipitate, to portend. No, to precipitate means to make something happen or to act too early. To portend is something that um, says what's going to happen in the future. Thanks anyway, Juro. Ah, Nora, lovely to see you. My dearest teacher, I heartily hope you're doing more than fine. I've already finished 50% of the CELTA course. Yesterday I gave a 60 minute session, observed and obsess assessed my, by my tutor. I passed with flying colours. Thank you so much for everything. Of course, I'm, I'm sure you're going to. Well done, Nora. Dearest teacher, what's the name of the grammatical rule? If only... Is it the third conditional? Yeah. Um, uh, if only you were good. Uh, it's either second or third conditional. If only you would stop doing that. Uh, in, if only you had stopped doing that. Okay. So, yeah, if only you had stopped doing that. If only you were different. Yeah. Uh, things would be easier. So is a second or a third conditional, Nora? And... Nitu, hi, hi Nitu. In her beloved's absence, she feels her spirit has started atrophying to the marrow, lovely English, slowly decaying from the core with hardly any life left in it. She sees her soul is suffering and it will only flourish upon his re uh, arrival. I can easily understand, says Giliola. This is very, very, very nicely written. I like this, th these words, beloved, marrow, core, flourish. It's very, very good, Nitu. Thank you. And sunset. Hi, sir. Long time no see. Could you explain the meaning of the word reconcile? Okay, let's see. If two people... Um, Reconcile, reconcile an argument. They kiss and make up. We reconciled our differences. We reached an agreement. Um, how can you reconcile uh, being a uh, an ecologist and driving that enormous four-wheel drive vehicle? How can you argue that the two are reasonable? I know you speak Spanish, and since I'm from Portugal, I think the meaning is the same as reconciliar. Yeah, but I'm uncertain. And what about conciliar? Mm, I'm happy with reconciliar. Conciliar-ish, but reconciliar is, is certainly a better translation. And, Alan, could you please explain stuck up again? Okay, if stock, stock, not stuck up, stock up. To stock up is to build up your supplies of something. Yeah, so, I don't know, my uncle drinks a huge amount and he's coming this week, so we'd better stock up on alcohol. Or, I don't know, um, pasta's really cheap in the supermarket this week. Let's stock up on on pasta. So to increase your supplies of something, normally to a level that's higher than normal. Ah, need to. Challenging your brain with critical thinking is very important or else it will slowly atrophy and leave you at the threshold of infertility from where it would be hard to traverse back. At the threshold? Yeah, you can use at the threshold. Mm, 
I would so infertility here on its own it doesn't work on the threshold of mental infertility yeah uh, or infertility of thought you need to add something to that infertility otherwise it, it has the idea of barren and not able to have uh, offspring polyglot my english will never atrophy because i watch 10 to 15 of your videos every day thank you polyglot p did i do okay in the live stream or were there any intrusive non sequiturs you did very well in the live stream p and no there were no intrusive non sequiturs at all you did very well don't worry yeah don't be so paranoid your english is superb and VG says, thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. A wonderful stream as usual. Thank you. Have a wonderful afternoon and night. And you too, although it's the next morning, VG. And Quarenta. Hello, sir. Which one should I choose? I have a right to choose my partner on my own. I have the right to choose my partner on my own. They're both fine. A right or the right. Both of them both of them mate. Qualenta. Nigel hi Nigel his words his demeanor even his understanding understated style of dress sartorial style resonated with self-confidence good English Russia's reported invasion of Ukraine is resonant of the United States of Grenada under a fledgling leftist government in the 1990s. I love the way you think, Nigel. Yeah, you think in independently and huh, I, I, I absolutely agree. The US didn't like what was going on in Grenada, so they just invaded. The Russians don't like what's, what the, the what's going on in Ukraine and they've invaded. I would condemn both invasions though. And Quarenta, hello sir. I do not recommend doing that. I don't recommend doing it. I don't recommend doing so. Yes, they're all exactly the same. And mannequin, my muscles atrophied because I did not work out for months. Good. My vocabulary atrophied because I stopped ED reading. And use it or lose it, stay busy or a trophy. Good, Nigel. Thank you. And mannequin, the coda of a song is difficult to get done. I always watch the coda when the film ends. Watch the coda of the film to know what happened to the characters. I cannot wait to watch the coda. She wrote the coda for me because she has a lot of experience writing films. Anyone knows that knows music. Anyone that knows music knows when they hear the coda. Sorry, that's my bad. Good English. Well done. And Nigel. Weeks ago, I walked behind a guy who had just had lost his left hand, but there was no sign of atrophy in his left shoulder, which was as well developed as his other shoulder. Maybe he's working out with it. And Fran. Shanks's pony. I've never heard of this one. Thanks. It means to walk. It's very informal. Yeah, I had to go by Shanks's pony. And Manji, suffering from COVID-19 did undoubtedly take a toll on my health, gradually atrophying my strength and vigour to carry on with my quotidian chores. Moreover, the deadly virus atrophied my mental equilibrium bit by bit, so much that I began to lose self-confidence and inner peace. OK, self-confidence and inner peace are very important. That's very good, Manji. Good writing again. And yeah, you're someone who knows about suffering from COVID-19 by personal experience. <laughs> What's the word, the, the, the difference between the word coda and the word denouement? OK, let's see. The coda is something that's added on to the end like uh, an epilogue or a postscript or something like that but the denouement is how something uh, a film works out in the end the final scene the bit that explains yeah the interesting bit the twist in the tale so the denouement is the final part of a book or the final part of a film where you understand exactly what's been going on yeah whereas the coda 
comes afterwards and it's something that's not itself part of the film and a genus al Argenis, it's going to be Argenis with this name Aguilar, thanks a lot. And the S word, sorry, your videos comes in after Bidden's gaffs now. <laughs> okay, and Patricia, hi. Can you use the word incidentally to replace by the same token? Yeah, incidentally. Yeah, that's very good. By the way, yeah, incidentally, by the same token. And... So, in so far as, could you replace this phrase in certain cases by, to the best of my ability? Yes, in so far as. Yeah, in certain cases, very definitely. Um, I, I will do this in so far as I am able, hmm. to the best of my ability. And what about depend on, rely on? lean on, count on, bank on. Yes, all of these are dependent prepositions. Yeah, lean on me, rely on me, count on me, bank on me. These are all dependents, uh, Alan. And Mohammed, take your cue from something or some, someone or something. Good English, Mohammed. And P, hi P. The notion of chivalry, courage and responsibility has seen an alarming rate of atrophy over more than three or four decades. As a consequence, women are obliged to cultivate an atrophy of feminine qualities. No, I think women are obliged to cultivate atrophied feminine qualities in order to survive without the support of their male counterparts. Ooh, some black here. And VG says, thanks, sir. My pleasure. And Karkin Ong, hi. Thanks, teacher. It was a great lesson. I like it so much. That's good. I'm glad to hear. And Domi, hello. I've heard depend off which is an informal version of depend on. I guess I'm thinking of this hangs off. I've heard it as well, but it's an in informal version. Generous. Hi there, Abid. OK, if somebody is generous, they give more than necessary. Um, generous normally says more than necessary. Um, a generous portion of food. It was bigger than normal. He gave generously. He gave more than was expected of him. And Deep Tea. Hi, Deep Tea. Great to hear, see you. I never want the path of my learning English to experience atrophy. I confess that it's my procrastination which may lead to it. I will continue learning. Thanks a lot for a wonderful lesson. Wonderful word. OK, thanks for sharing, a d Deep Tea. Great to have you. A farrago of words are in this book. Good example, Abid. Can I say an influx of food has been sent? Not sent. An influx of food has arrived. But in, you need to talk about it from the point of reception where it's being received. An outflux of food has been sent. That would work. But in has arrived. And Adi Aditi, great to see you. Although materialistic possessions may seem fascinating, they are an impediment to one's growth intellectually <coughs> and will certainly atrophy mankind's progress when it comes to knowledge that is imperishable and helps us in the long run. That's very, very good English, Aditi. It's also a very deep comment. Thank you. Embrace and clasp are different. Yes. So, to clasp, to hold with your hand, to embrace, to put your arms round, to hug. So, um, I clasped the scissors, held tightly. I embraced the scissors, yeah, di is different. Also notice to embrace, you can embrace an idea to take it on board, to support it as well. Whereas you can't use clasp in that metaphorical way. 
Mandy Can, thank you. My pleasure, Mandy Can. And P, great to see you. Ooh, I like I like the the gr the green and yellow. Looks very nice. And she would importune him incessantly with all kinds of honeyed baroque banalities and bark. <laughs> Baroque banalities and bark. Very nice indeed. I think you like this word importune. And M. Newman, hi. You are so kind and polite. It's a privilege to learn from you. No apostrophe S. Yes. From you. What, whatever we can. To learn from you whatever we can. Stay blessed, Professor. Please teach us the kind of words this kind of words because those will will carry through the generations thank you Newman that's very nice P to rid ourselves of the neighbor it's imperative that we contact the solicitor who was instrumental in doing away with the death penalty <laughs> okay yes so that uh, he can find a solution without uh, your uh, King's letter and P, he is steadfast and very solicitous in both professional and private life and is prepared to move mountains to attain his goals. And they are, so, Giliola, the, uh, they, the atrophy of feeling of essay can generate, here she's talking about essay, um, is it with a Y or an I? I'm not sure. Trying to do something can generate such a coldness in our hearts that they need warmth and memories to be able to stimulate the necessary enthusiasm for life. Good English. I love it, G Giliola. And Giliola again. Fortunately, your quarrel did not leave an ir irritating coda. Things settled right away. Thanks. Good English, good usage. Good morning, P. Good morning, Alex. Are you getting used to the change in time? I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I feel they should prepare us for it at least three weeks in advance. Yes, just one, just uh, a couple of minutes every day. I quite agree with you, I hate it. And P. Nowadays, I never give anyone the benefit of the doubt. I distance myself from them. And then I disappear. Yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, if it looks bad, it smells bad, it's probably bad. So, hi there, Quarenta. And Fran. Hi, Fran. I broke my Achilles tendon in 2015, and ever since I have muscular atrophy in that tendon, despite the fact that I tried everything under the sun in order to recover my muscles. In English, the no the atrophy in english atrophy general can happen with certain words that you never use good english just this the here for general concepts i know in spanish you want to put that the but not in english love is more important than money no the so cuarenta my afternoon nap is sacrosanct i can wake up all night So I can no, I, I can I can wake up all night. I guess this means you wake up once and you wake up twice and you wake up three times. But I can't stay awake during days. <laughs> thank you, Manji, as well, and thank you, Quarenta, Montespan. My dear sir, thanks a million for hinting at sanctifying our freedom and our heartfelt issues. You know our friends, our English lessons and our books are sacrosanct to me forever and today take care m thank you montespan and watching qualenta says watching your videos is sacrosanct for all of us and bisalom hi bisalom my application letter it's sacrosanct and i can't even change my reference <laughs> okay that's very good bisalom and qualenta 
what is common in most religions across the globe is that it is sacrosanct for people to fast during holy times and perform various rituals. There's nothing wrong with that, but I personally feel that if your heart is in the right place, you don't need to perform rituals to bedazzle the Almighty. If what you do and think is free of malice and evil intentions, the God who you believe in is always going to be with you. Yeah, I believe this is true without a God, so I, I think it's important that the things that you do are free of malice and evil intentions. And I think that's the definition of a good person. Ha ah, and Manji agrees. Yes, I think Manji Manji understands this as well. Ha ah, well done Quarenta. Mecca looks beautiful. You've noticed this is the black rock. Very, very good indeed. And the project is sacrosanct. Only office officials can see it. Thank you, Arundev. Great to see you. And Opticon Com, coms, opticoms. I love it. Thank you, opticoms. And Aditi. Learning new vocabulary and grammar concepts daily are things that keep because we've got an and concepts. Uh, so, yes, new vocabulary and grammar concept. It's going to be plural. Keep me going and are sacrosanct to me. They lend me a helping hand to fathom the beauty and charm of the English language, preventing the atrophy of knowledge of the knowledge gained. Good English, Aditi. Well done. OK, and the answer to yesterday's was prosaic, something that's boring, humdrum, normal. OK, deep tea. Hi, deep tea. Only sacrosanct people are competent to preach the importance of peace in our life. They can lead the world to the path of humanity. Good work, good work, Deepti. And, ooh, Manji. In The Tempest, Prospero describes his daughter Miranda as the epitome of virtue and sanctity and emphatically told Ferdinand, his would-be son-in-law, to honour Miranda's virtue as sacrosanct, not to be violated until their ma marriage was solemnised. Very, very good work, Manji. And P. For some people, certain topics, topics like religion and politics are sacrosanct. You can't broach, love the word, the subject without them, without rubbing them up the wrong way. Nice idiom as well. Well done, P. Good English. And Aditi says run of the mill, definitely. And Parkash says run of the mill, very definitely. And P. Having a roof over one's head, enough to eat and enough money to make oneself happy, are sacrosanct rights. Very good. More than that, that's a different question. Brotherhood and generosity are sacrosanct and should not be tampered with. Good English, P. Sheed, at Christmas time, uh, Santa Claus is pretty much sacrosanct for children, no matter whether it's, it is fake or not. Good. I like this weather. Yes, weather, because it is fake or not, you've got two choices, and weather is better than if. Good sheed. P. Having a disciplined yet flexible work schedule with a sufficient amount, with a sufficient number of moments of respite. Amount of moments. Amount, no. N a sufficient number of moments of respite is sacrosanct. A sufficient amount of time uncountable for respite is sac whoops is sacrosanct. Yes, the heart looks better. And P. Narcissists haven't the foggiest notion of hallowed ground or boundaries and violate without any qualms or compunction the tenets of good and healthy living. Very good, P. And run of the mill, very definitely. Oh, I like the uh, heart on the letter. And Mazira Justine, viewing your posts is sacrosanct to me. Lovely. Thank you, Mazira. And run of the mill, says Raj, and you'd be right, Raj. And static, I once thought that the heavenly bodies in the night sky were pure and sacrosanct, until Galileo pointed his telescope at the moon and at the Jupiter system. 
He noticed mountain ranges, volcanoes, volcanoes and, and blemishes on these worlds. Not I. It was once thought. Yeah, it, that sounds much better. Thank you, Static. I love it. And Manji. There was a time when many a society put forth a list of desiderata bef before women to be held and followed. Okay. Put forth a list of desiderata before women. Yes. Okay. To be held and followed as sacrosanct. And a fistful of women who flouted the conventional norms set for them were censured as feminists. Well, I wonder if this practice is still in vogue. I'm certain it is, Manji. Yeah? <laughs> Absolutely. Very good indeed. Very deep as well. And Aditi. Hi, Aditi. <laughs> Relationships that we share with our family and friends hold a significant place in our lives, sometimes giving importance to our ego, may cost us these precious relations. And it's simply crossing the Rubicon. Yeah, going too far. And Aaron, thank you, dear. My, f my pleasure, Aaron. And Chris. Hi, Chris. Here in Australia, any sense of social propriety is fast di disappearing. They glory in their shame. Very sad. Hmm. Well, it's to do to do with the society, Chris. And Guarenta. Hello, sir. <laughs> I will do what I want to do. I will do what I want. I, what I want to. All of them. I will do what I want to do. I will do what I want. I will do what I want to. Yeah. She kicks whoever she wants to kick. She kicks whoever she wants. She kicks whoever she wants to. I will go wherever I want to go. I will go wherever I want. I will go wherever I want to. Absolutely. All three are fine. And Sean says, mill, run of the mill. That's great. And P. Ooh, Sir Alex, why are you beleaguering us with all these foreign words? It's bad enough in one language. <coughs> why don't you come here at least for a couple of days? I'll probably end up with a load more French words to put in videos. I will look at things in a less wealth, wealth smirchy, whatever the word is, prosaic way. Take care and beware of the bad bees. Well... The bad bees are being themselves, and like they say, bad girls are more fun. Um, let's see, Welsh, Welsh smirts. It reminds me of this word that I really like, this German word, um, zeitgeist, the spirit of the age. Spirit of the age. So, Welsh smirts, Welsh smirts, Welsh smirts, Welsh smirts. <laughs> Good, you'll get it. <laughs> Welton Shang, Welton Shang, Welton Shang. <laughs> and RV, hi RV, culminate, wow, thank you. And P, every time I think of men, I get Welsh merts. Then my world turns Schwartz and deep Schwartz. Tam zum zum. <laughs> Very funny, P. And driving carefully is definitely sacrosanct. I quite agree, Alan. Cars are dangerous things. And Mere Soleil's uh, sun, Sea and Sun, Sun and Sea. Thank you very much, sir. My pleasure. And P. In the same, in the same token, by the same token. By the way, someone described two neighbours in this way. Uh, De vieilles putes qui se disputent la, le territoire. Two old whores who are arguing about the uh, the pitch. That's Welsh Mertz in bright and red scarlet letters. I love it. Thank you, Pete. And Shoal. Thank you, Murtala. And Nitu. Hi, Nitu. For Muslims, Fridays are sacrosanct. And no one should ask them to work on their prayer days. But in the UAE, the Arab Emirates, things have changed now. Weekends, which used to be Fridays and Saturdays earlier, are now Saturdays and Sundays. You see, we're all going to uh, towards um, unified systems. So, if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and after looking at these comments here, I will stop.
Okay, so 40 Love. Hi, 40 Love. And it won. Loved the movie. Thanks for the nice explanation. Yes, it did win. So with a bit of luck, there'll be millions of people looking up this word. What does coda mean? And 40 Love. The doctor said I was stoic as I didn't complain or react during the procedure to inject blood in my spine. Ouch. That's very stoic indeed. So, I'll see you all later.